here with Hal Weeks, and we have something that we're pretty excited to show you today. Uh, we are introducing the first brand new model of auto harp that we've had out in a long time. In fact, since the Freedom Harp, our carbon fiber model. This is the Tahoma. And the Tahoma is completely redesigned inside and out. Uh, the construction is very different from any of our other auto harps. It is made from a single piece of pin block. As you can see, there are no seams, no vertical seams to break up the sound at all. It's one piece of pin block for the body and the top. Um, the, uh, uh, the inside um, framing is completely different. We are using composite uh, framing on the inside as we do with our other auto harps, but it's a little bit different. And uh, it has a, uh, a, a little slightly narrower body, easier to get around. All the edges are rounded, as in all our auto harps, easy to hug. Um, it's uh, got no vertical glue joints, like I explained. It's got fine tuners, of course. Uh, and it ha we're making them with a Brian Bowers style uh, layout in a 21 bar system. It's our uh, Brian Bowers modified, which means we have the uh, sevens on top except for this last button, which is a E flat, so that you can play in B flat if you like. And at this end, we have a B7, so that you can play in the key of E. Uh, anyway, uh, we're pretty excited about this instrument. Hal has been playing it for, what, a month now? About a month now. I, I got hold of the prototype as soon as it rolled off the presses, the, the machines, and I was really excited about it and uh, um, wanted to try it. So I've been playing it like in my lessons uh, with students um, ever since. And uh, we discovered something interesting that we didn't take into account, and that is like our other solid wood auto harps, it blooms within the first few, I don't know, weeks that you play it. And so the sound improves. Gets better and better, just like, uh, yeah, yeah. That, that we weren't really expecting, but we found it out uh, with Hal playing on it uh, quite a bit in the first little while. Well, the sound, the, the top is maple. And so, um, and just to make this clear, and Peter already said this, but I just want to spell this out. It's continuous all the way around. It's one piece, and that includes the top. And so the, the sides and the top were scooped out like a bowl, um, and then the back was put on. And that makes it one resonant piece. And uh, it certainly plays like that. And what I found was that I really like playing it when I sit there and I play it like all day, like in my lessons, because it's close to me and it's, it's got a, a, a soft, mellow sound. Not to say it's not loud, because it's louder than a lot of auto harps, but it is, it's got this, this mellow, sweet sound uh, that I think it gets from the bridge pins. Um, so that's what I like about it. The uh, tone is super clear. It really is super clear. And it's balanced, as you can see, all the way from top to bottom. Yeah, you're going to hear every tone come through. That's uh, it's The clarity, I think, is incredible. And uh, the balance is very, very nice. So yeah, you can uh, for accompanying your vocals, uh, you're, you'll be fine with it. For It's got the amplitude so that you can play with a band and be heard. Uh, we, uh, we're pretty excited about this auto harp and uh, we're just now getting ready to introduce it for sale. The trim, as you can see, is walnut uh, with a walnut rosette in the middle that we like that was designed by John Gray who works here. Um, well, I don't know what else to say about it, Hal. I think it's a beautiful auto harp and I, I'm really excited about introducing it.
Me too. I'm excited to play it more and more. Fantastic. Should I play something? Absolutely. Okay. Introduction price at $13.95. Come visit us at autoharp.com. <laughs>